start uh, okay uh, it's time to start my session uh, thank you for joining uh, my talk uh, um, the topic of my session is uh, low level security uh, that try to add uh, uh, fine grain access control feature uh, toward uh, PostgreSQL version 9.4 not a 9.3. Um, one thing I have to apologize is uh, this session is uh, categorized to track version 9.3 feature. Um, but uh, when I submit a proposal um, to uh, PGCon, uh, I'm worked for uh, low level security for version 9.3 feature, but uh, it was uh, eventually uh, postponed to version 9.4 recycle. So, uh, so uh, it is a bit mismatch. But uh, today, uh, mostly I'll introduce, I'll introduce uh, three major topics. Uh, one is uh, our motivation. And the second thing is background story. And the last one is a major topic, uh, low level security, that uh, we like to propose a next release cycle. Uh, let's, uh, could you show the uh, this figure? It is a um, diagram to show uh, how uh, low level security uh, works. Uh, here is uh, two persons with uh, different credentials. Um, person with yellow color has a classified uh, security level uh, that is higher than unclassified, but he is uh, available to access uh, secret information. So uh, here is a three, uh, please assume, uh, here is a three uh, security levels. The highest one is secret, and next one is um, classified. The lowest one is unclassified. In this case, uh, we like to restrict the rows to be returned to users. When an error user with a classified credential access uh, this row, an expected result is uh, four rows that are labeled as unclassified or classified, but uh, secret tables are not returned to the cast, uh, returned to users. On the other hand, uh, the blue user, he has an unclassified credential. Uh, even those uh, error user can get four rows from this table, but Blue user will will get two tuples from the table since uh, his credential is allowed to access only unclassified level. But classified and secret are invisible uh, for him. A similar behavior is applied even though uh, here is uh, two or more tables tables here and uh, query try to join. Uh, for example, uh, uh, a user ID, uh, uh, please assume, uh, uh, please assume a table is shared by multiple users uh, identified by shop ID. Uh, in, uh, in this case, uh, a shop ID equal uh, Hundred try to uh, get uh, uh, get a result from a drink order uh, and uh, drink with uh, uh, with materialized by uh, joint clause. Uh, in this case, its security policy is a uh, shop ID or uh, drink order equal the shop ID of uh, Shop ID of the uh, subject uh, that uh, issued a query. In this case, 
uh, in this case, uh, only ta only tuples with a uh, shop ID equal uh, uh, query invoker uh, return to the upper side. Then it was uh, joined to the uh, uh, joined to the table uh, named as Dorin uh, with that security policy. Uh, so uh, it was uh, this rest restriction uh, allowed to uh, allowed to hide uh, unrelated tuples uh, from the user. Why? Uh, why uh, uh, why do we uh, need to uh, implement uh, those features? Uh, here is the motivation. Uh, let's consider the, uh, these uh, typical cases. Uh, this diagram shows an, an application uh, issues a query to uh, PostgreSQL. Regularly, an um, application uh, issues a query with the appropriate condition to restrict uh, restrict the records uh, to be written from the database uh, per users. Uh, for, for example, um, blue user when blue user uses applications, uh, this application uh, intermediate the request come from a blue user then it issues a query to the database with an appropriate uh, where clause uh, to show the record to be written to blue user. Uh, similarly, uh, application uh, issues a query with, uh, with where clause for yellow user and red user. But uh, this structure uh, this uh, structure forces up any application to have responsibility to set appropriate uh, appropriate uh, condition to restrict the record. That means uh, we have to uh, make sure applications are bug free or vulnerability free, but uh, it is a uh, it is uh, usually uh, difficult to achieve uh, since uh, we usually use uh, many applications. Uh, in general, uh, the number of points to be checked uh, grows the possibility of bugs or vulnerability. Uh, as an uh, trend. So, I like to move the responsibility to set uh, set a where class or a restriction uh, to control the records uh, into the into the database. Uh, in this diagram, uh, application uh, machinery issues the same query, but uh, PostgreSQL itself append an appropriate uh, where class to restrict uh, restrict the record per user. If uh, once we move the responsibility uh, from the application to the database, all we have to check is uh, whether the configured security policy is uh, correct or not only one point. It makes, um, it makes sure the correctness of the security policy. Even those applications are vulnerable or buggy. And eventually, uh, I like to uh, enhance the world construction uh, with the integration of SDLinux. Uh, please assume applications uh, work uh, on behalf of an uh, Apache web server. Uh, when a blue user uh, 
and connect to the web server, and web server launched application on behalf of uh, itself. And we can install a module to uh, to uh, to assign an uh, appropriate uh, privilege uh, according to the user uh, that uh, uh, that through the HTTP request to the server. Then uh, applications uh, uh, applications privilege are uh, switched to uh, blue or yellow or red uh, according to the user's attribute. Once application privilege is switched, its queries, uh, it, its queries are restricted uh, by a security policy that uh, follows the centralized uh, operating system the security policy. Uh, the uh, this structure uh, allows to uh, centralize uh, centralize uh, management of uh, world system security policy into uh, one place. One place means uh, uh, security policy of SLE. So uh, it is uh, our motivation. Then uh, need to uh, it need to uh, consider how to implement. Uh, uh, probably uh, you can consider uh, here is a simple solution uh, like uh, view with a web browser. Uh, for example, uh, this create view statement. Uh, this create view statement uh, try to define a view that restrict uh, the record from the drawing table. Uh, this web class uh, construct uh, the record that uh, has a price uh, lower than uh, 200. And then uh, we can grant the access privilege to the privilege of this view to public. So um, a user can reference the view with a restricted, uh, restricted record. Uh, since the drawing table, uh, the master date of this view, uh, is not allowed to reference to a public user error permission denied for relation during uh, PostgreSQL denied to access the raw data. But uh, here is a vulnerable point. Uh, let's see uh, this example uh, select uh, stuff from PostgreSQL where uh, X rig. Uh, it is a, a function I defined. Here is uh, six notice. The above four is the same contents, uh, same contents with what we can sh we can see. But here is uh, two suspect shell records uh, that to be invisible. What was happened? I defined the fleek function uh, with this uh, with this definition. Please see the very small cost. And this function has a side effect. Uh, since uh, this function uh, defined to return a bool value and return true. So even if we put this function into where class, uh, all the, uh, it returns truth to the, all the input, but it writes a notice to the console. Then uh, let's see the explain result. 
So let's start from sort of drink where you know, F reef and its name. Uh, it's sequential scan on drink and uh, is here and it has a filter condition. Uh, F reef name and uh, price less than 200. One thing, uh, one thing we have to uh, focus on is F reef is evaluated earlier than the uh, given condition uh, price uh, less, less than 200. The owner of you expect price uh, less than 200 shall be uh, evaluated earlier than, uh, earlier than other, but due to the very small costs, F league shall be evaluated earlier. Uh, thus, it rises and notice to the console. Eventually, uh, it leaks the uh, 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 contents of the record uh, to be indigible. Sorry. Here is an another scenario uh, we can leak invisible uh, contents of invisible record. Let's see the, this definition of view and create view uh, way both as uh, it, this view shows the result of uh, two diff result of join of two different tables, uh, T left and T right. Uh, this uh, this value A belong to the T right and X belong to T left. Uh, probably it is a very usual case uh, for table joining. And the owner uh, attached a condition uh, where B like uh, uh, percent ABC percent. Uh, in other words, uh, the owner of view expect user can see the record uh, record uh, contains the term of ABC in uh, column B. Then, uh, what happened when we put an uh, F rig function on this view? Uh, select star from we both where F rig Y. Y belong to the T left table. Then we can check explain result. F rig is uh, evaluated during the sequential scan on uh, T left table because uh, because uh, Prana pushing down the user given condition into the uh, more deeper side of the scan plan since the, this filter condition can reduce the number of rows to be joined. It is, uh, uh, it is usually uh, better than evaluate uh, this condition after join uh, from perspective of performance. But it is not good from the perspective of security since uh, F rig function can reference the record to be invisible. So, what's the problem to be tackled? In this case, uh, the owner of view expect uh, the pre-configured pre-configured uh, web class are evaluated, and it restricts the record uh, to be exposed or not exposed, and only exposed records should be uh, evaluated by user's condition. But 
a query planner reorders the evaluation of the condition. Uh, so we need uh, some feature to reflect uh, the user given condition uh, from outside the view. We call it security barrier. It is uh, already merged the future in uh, PostgreSQL version 9.2. So it is already uh, available. When uh, we add uh, with security barrier class on view definition, uh, it ensures the order to evaluate the where class. Let's see the result of this query. Uh, it is the same one from the previous slide, but its result were different since when we uh, issued the query select star from soft drawing where f -leak. Indeed, uh, f uh, called for the record uh, to be evaluated, but it is applied, uh, uh, applied after the view, uh, after uh, after the scan on according to the where class uh, configured within a view definition, thus all f uh, exposed is the record to be visible for users. Let's see the explain class. In the previous example, uh, FREC was merged to uh, pre-configured price uh, less than 200. But when we, we, when we attach a security barrier attribute, uh, it guarantees the order to evaluate the given condition. Since uh, PostgreSQL uh, query planner put uh, FREC uh, outside of the scan plan of the uh, row table. It ensures the it ensures the record to be passed to FREC is always uh, visible for users. Uh, but uh, even though it has the advantage of uh, advantages from perspective of uh, security, here is a disadvantage from um, performance perspective. Let's see this example and uh, create build my team with security barrier as self stuff from employee where both equal current user. Usually, uh, equal condition um, can be expanded to index scan. But uh, security barrier prevent push down this equal condition into the sequential scan. Thus, uh, we have to scan all the employee records even if it has a million of records then it checks uh, uh, it checks the uh, equal condition. Uh, however, uh, it is uh, uh, it is easy to consider uh, the the it is easy to consider the prevention of push down is nonsense since uh, this integer equal condition is obviously um, harmless. It doesn't have any uh, side effect, so there is no path to expose the given input to the user side. So here is a 
uh, we need a uh, future to break a uh, security barrier also. We call it a uh, leak proof function. It is uh, also, this feature is also integrated on PostgreSQL 9.2. It is, it is an attribute of a function when, uh, we can attach on its creation time. When we put the leak proof attribute into the function definition, it ignores a security barrier restriction. Uh, for example, this function, uh, this function obviously doesn't leak anything. Here is no uh, write command. So we assume this function is safe. Then, then leak proof, uh, then this function is defined with leak proof attribute. Let's see the result of explain the where class uh, given by user is uh, defined uh, just a moment before. And this condition is, uh, this condition is merged with, uh, uh, merged with the condition uh, we uh, previously defined. Thus, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see the condition. Uh, let's see the uh, explain result. Uh, in above example, uh, it is a case when uh, the fun uh, the user defined function doesn't have weak proof attribute. Thus, um, this query, query execution plan uh, extracted to a sequential scan and the uh, uh, sequential uh, extracted to sequential scan and both of uh, equal condition and user uh, given function are uh, extracted in flat. Uh, but the uh, but once we uh, hmm? sorry uh, sorry this above example a bit uh, strange sorry uh, forget above one uh, the below below example uh, shows the previous uh, shows a query on previous uh, defined view with uh, ID equal uh, 300. Uh, this example, uh, this example allowed to uh, push down the given condition in, uh, into the index scan. Uh, Uh, because uh, equal condition, uh, equ equal condition of uh, integer data type is uh, marked as leak proof in default. Uh, that allows to uh, narrow down the record with uh, index scan. Uh, index count ID equals three hundred. In addition, uh, it filters record. Uh, filters record by uh, both equal current user. Uh, also, uh, I asked my colleague uh, in charge of uh, Oracle uh, to try a uh, similar uh, cases. Uh, in case of Oracle, uh, they they shows me this uh, ex uh, explain output when uh, when 
a user doesn't have a permission to um, reference the tables below the view. In this case, uh, in this case, a view contains the uh, two tables being joined, uh, table uh, table A and table B. Uh, even those uh, user add a condition that depend only and uh, only uh, either of tables. It is uh, uh, it is evaluated on the point one uh, filter f rig uh, x equal one and uh, a join condition and a table uh, filtering condition are individually checked. So uh, Oracle is also uh, works fine from a uh, perspective of uh, security, but uh, it clearly shows uh, Oracle requires Oracle requires to uh, to join all the records uh, from uh, both sides. Then it applies the condition uh, given by users, even if it is uh, uh, it is harmless. Uh, I think uh, it is a clear advantage of PostgreSQL toward uh, Oracle. And I also like to know uh, other, uh, other commercial databases behavior like uh, MS uh, SQL Server or IBM DB2. Uh, if you have an environment of these uh, DBMS, uh, please uh, tell me its result. This and the background story, uh, I worked on the de development cycle of PostgreSQL version 9.2. Uh, it has a new future of uh, security barrier and uh, leak, leak proof. Then I try to work on the low level security, but uh, as I talked at the first, it was postponed to the version 9.4 development cycle. So uh, the things I introduced here is um, plan, uh, my plan uh, to submit, um, submit patches toward version 9.4 development development cycle to be opened the next June. To the low level security future, I like to add this uh, statement that uh, control uh, that configured a particular security policy on a particular table. Uh, it is implemented as a subcommand of outer table. Outer table set role security for command type. Command type shows all select insert update delete, but uh, initial versions only support all. Two expression. Expression means um, uh, expression means means the uh, condition to restrict the uh, record to be exposed to users. Uh, it, I it is a regular expression uh, format uh, to be we use uh, to be uh, put to be usually put as an um, where class in query. Uh, for example, uh, out of the table, my table set role as security for all to um, a percent to equal to. Uh, it means uh, content of a equal uh, even value. Or uh, uh, this expression can also contain the subquery. Uh, the below example shows. Uh, uh, 
term A of uh, my table have to match any of the uh, result of uh, sub table? How, do, how does it work? When we put um, this security policy, uh, for example, owner equal a current user. Current user is expanded to a particular user ID depending on uh, current session. According to the security policy uh, configured above, when we, uh, when we reference the table T, it is expanded as if the table T contains a subquery with the pre-configured security policy. And it also behaves as if the subquery with uh, subquery has a security barrier attribute. So user given condition cannot be go into the subquery. So uh, we can guarantee the pre-configured security policy shall be uh, evaluated at first then user given condition uh, evaluated. So even if we put freq function here, all freq function can export is a record user can be, user can see. Uh, um, and okay. one exception is a database superuser. Even though uh, security policy were applied on the table, a database super user can bypass it. Because a database super user can alter a command for all the table. So it is nonsense to protect from a database super user from a uh, uh, duck uh, scheme. Uh, also, uh, it, it also makes uh, confusable uh, things when, uh, confusable things if we apply the security policy on super user uh, on the database background. If we uh, implicitly filter a part of records uh, from the query result, a uh, PG dump with lost and some record on database backup timing. So according to the long discussion, we decided to, uh, to give uh, database super users an exceptional uh, position from, from uh, low level security features. Let's see the, the explain result uh, this query uh, shows a regular table T, not a view, but it is expanded to a subquery, and when we put uh, A larger than zero, it is easy to expand in index scan, uh, and uh, integer uh, comparison operator is marked as big proof in default. So a uh, query planner pushes down a larger than zero into, in, into the, uh, into the subquery. So this query plan is expanded to index scan uh, and, uh, and finally uh, freq uh, given by users are uh, evaluated. Uh, a fun thing is, one of the fun things is the uh, writer side checks. Uh, according to the security policy we configured, it is also applied on uh, update and, and delete. In case of 
update or delete. All we can update is uh, the result of uh, uh, all we can update is uh, uh, satisfied by the security policy. In this example, all records satisfied uh, owner equal uh, current users are uh, updated. And one fun thing is update on T uh, has a sub branch uh, that have a sub query scan on T1. Uh, even though we usually uh, have a sub branch as uh, as uh, regular tables itself. It is an overview of a world structure when PostgreSQL update uh, tables. When we try to update a, update or delete a table, at first uh, PostgreSQL uh, scans a particular table and put uh, and fetch its content and uh, city ID. A city ID is an identifier of the position of tuples. Then uh, it is evaluated by where class attached by uh, update or uh, delete command. Then the fetch, fetch the contents uh, x, y, z uh, calculated by uh, calculated uh, according to the user given uh, formula uh, like uh, x equal x plus 1, and so on. Then modified, uh, modified and newer version of uh, record contents are updated, and the older tuples are pointed by city ID uh, fetched. It is not difficult to modify this structure according to the role of our security. Uh, when we add a row level security policy on the table to be updated, uh, this feature inject uh, evaluation of uh, security policy uh, earlier than, earlier than uh, evaluation of regular wear class. Look, uh, uh, it performs as if a uh, subquery uh, located on uh, modified table plan. At the first, at the first version, uh, we don't check um, security policy on on the newer. On the newer uh, version of tuples to be updated, but uh, I plan to add uh, checks uh, uh, checks of security policy on a newer version of tuples to be uh, updated. Uh, for example, uh, if security policy restrict um, um, user ID field to be equal with uh, current user. Uh, the first version uh, allowed to modify a uh, user identifier uh, since here is no check uh, on the calculated newer version of the record. But it is, mm, it is undesirable behavior so uh, the Second or third version, uh, third version of low level security will add a check on according to the newer value to be updated here. Also, uh, also, uh, I will uh, implement a uh, level based low level security. Uh, in other words, uh, we will. Uh, we like to add um, 
function that returns a uh, visible or invisible according to the SLE next policy on the infrastructure of low level security here. Uh, in addition to the walls of infrastructure of low level security, it needs uh, security uh, needs in future to assign security level on a user record and uh, enumerate type that um, can, that can add item on the fly uh, since uh, security level uh, Security level is represented as a text that usually it takes a 30 or a 40 byte. Uh, uh, if we have to add uh, uh, this 30 or 40 byte uh, text data on all the record, uh, it uh, it consumes uh, disk space, uh, even though uh, most of its part are. Uh, uh, common. So uh, I like to uh, utilize the uh, enumerated type to uh, compress the disk space consumption. And eventually I'll add a feature of enhancement of uh, SPG SQL module, which is the uh, final target of this effort. And it is a resource uh, of uh, this effort. Uh, I already post uh, patches to uh, commit first pass for version 9.4 development cycle. And uh, we can check out um, this uh, future uh, from the Git repository of mine. And uh, we summarize a brief overview uh, of this feature at WikiPHP. Uh, on the remaining type, uh, I like to accept, accept uh, any questions uh, from you. The leak proof function uh, requires a super user privilege uh, that uh, assumes the super user doesn't have uh, able, uh, able operations onto the database system. Even if uh, we cannot trust the database super users, all the, uh, all the schemes um, that uh, it breaks uh, all the assumptions here. Uh, we assume a database super user is trust and uh, they don't uh, they, they don't do uh, something able. So uh, super uh, so a leak proof function uh, has to be checked by uh, I of uh, super user. Of course, uh, uh, here is some uh, default function to be constructed on init DB time, uh, like uh, equal uh, operators of integer. Uh, we already marked uh, some obviously uh, harmless function as leak proof. So uh, some of uh, some of conditions uh, like integer equal. Uh, push the down into the security barrier. It is a reason why uh, we can uh, we can use equal equal condition uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, the query was extracted to index. Okay. Hmm. Any other question? Thank you for joining uh, my talk.